Hey guys, good afternoon. It's me, Callie. How's everybody doing today? Happy Sunday. Happy beautiful sunshiny day. Happy hummingbird at your bird feeder kind of day. Um, I'm, I'm so thrilled. You guys know how much I've waited for this spring, but it feels great. And I hope everybody else is feeling great as well. I have so much stuff to share with you guys today. Um, get comfy again. It's amazing to me how much, uh, how many things I can accumulate uh, in a short span of time, which, you know, is why I don't go out a lot and because I have no problem shopping once I'm out. But again, always a bargain. You won't find me at the mall ever. Um, we did not go to the Kite Festival or the Beltane Festival yesterday. Um, you know how quickly plans can change, but... Uh, we decided, Tom and I decided that uh, it was overdue for us to have some one-on-one -on -one time together. Uh, Nick had been spending time with his mom this weekend, so he wasn't up. And my grandkids did wind up going with my, my daughter and son-in-law, so they had a great time. But Tom and I went out to lunch, went to the park, had our lunch, um, which is kind of a thing we do. And um, I know, nauseating, right? And then after that, I had gotten a link on Facebook from one of my friends, Leslie, shout out to Leslie, um, saying that there was a ginormous, I love that word, three-day rummage slash flea market yard sale thing going on for the United Way in Sullivan County, which is in Monticello, and it's still going on, uh, not today, but it'll, it's still going on Monday and Tuesday uh, of this week, so if anybody's in the area and want to check it out, United Way in Sullivan County. On Lakewood Street really easy to find uh, anyway it was so worth it Tom and I went and he's he, you know we're so we share so many similar interests but one of them is garage sales and thrift stores and the auction and things so we have a great time doing that so I'm just gonna dive in you guys because I have so much um, I, I'm not gonna really go through how much individual I'll go through everything I got at the rummage sale I did go to the auction as well and then uh, a little Rite Aid thing and then I'll show you um, the shelf I've been painting this week. So uh, everything that I got at the rummage sale came to a grand total of $31. So, you know, for me, that's a lot of money. But I'm going to show you what I got. So first bag right here in no particular order. Um, I got some of these. They're silk scarves. And I'm not going to use them for a scarf because I'm not a scarf girl. But I will be using them uh, either for table covers or in my crafts to make bags with or something like that. So I got this one and another one here. Again, these are silk. Isn't that beautiful? So that goes to... I'm just going to start piling stuff because it's going to get out of control. Okay, they had some brand new things. They had a back room full of jeans, brand new jeans, some used jeans, but I got a brand new pair of Levi's for $2, but I'll show you that in a minute. They had a whole box of these Guess belts. This is a leather belt. I know I'm vegetarian. I'm sorry. Um, 50 cents. Hello, brand new. Still has tags on it. Okay, so got that. This I squealed out loud. It's a dictionary, and I already own a massive, illustrated, beautiful, beautiful dictionary that I got last year at a garage sale for like $5. That's gorgeous. I want to do some of the dictionary art that I think, is it Mouse Potato Designs here on YouTube? I think that's her name. Uh, she might have been, I don't know if she started it, but... They, so a bunch of people have a group and they do art in a dictionary like they pick a random page and then they'll do like I just opened and uh, oh <laughs> Grecian nose you know so draw a picture of a Grecian nose things like that so they use their dictionaries to do art in and I got this hello Webster's it's gorgeous I, I the book lover in me hesitates to mar this or ruin it in any way. But again, I already own an, another huge dictionary. And so I think I am going to, and just by using like watercolors and not heavy medium in here at all, uh, colored pencil, things like that. 
But so I think it's huge. Poor Tom had to carry all this stuff, you know. So that was a dollar. Stay tuned if I do anything in that. Oh my gosh. I'm getting my work out here. Oh, I was really excited. Okay, this box I hesitated because you know I get everything at the auction for so cheap. And this was a dollar, but it's a tin box. And it's a Whitman sampler box. But it is tin. And look how pretty that is. So I might not even alter it, believe it or not. Maybe I might line it or something, but I'll use it to hold craft supplies or something cool. So I thought that was cool. You know, I can't turn up a good box, right? Okay, so there's that. It's going to take me all day to put everything away. I got this for the grandkids, and honestly, the crafter in me was like, ooh, maybe I can use some of these pictures, but... It's just a, like a puzzle book, and the illustrations are great, you know, and it's all about animals, and, you know, find seven burrowing owls, you know, hot and dry, so I thought that was really cool. Look, puzzle, and learn. I got a bunch of stuff for the grandkids just because it was so freaking cheap, and supporting a good cause, you know, I didn't know a lot about the United Way, so it caused me to check it out a little bit. Um, I grabbed a couple of books. I haven't read a novel in a while. Um, this one, Autobiography of a Face. I have no idea. This is about a young girl who was, at age nine, was diagnosed with potentially terminal cancer and had part of her jaw removed. So it's her story um, of starting her own life, you know. And I just love that, you know. Obviously, I have my own physical, personal challenges. We all have challenges. And... I love to be uplifted by people who overcome, become stronger, you know, yada, yada. Um, and this one says, Becoming Anna, the autobiography of a 16-year-old. Um, and this says, She suffered physical and emotional damage at the hands of the adults who were supposed to love and protect her, committed to various mental institutions by her family. Um, by age 16, she was able to escape her abusive family. So that looks good, too. I'll let you know how that is. So those, and then these, hello, brand new, brand new, you see the price tag, 50 cents, animal activity Play-Doh bucket, brand new, you guys, sealed up, I got two of them, if they had more, I would have got more, this is going in the grandma room, or the grandma crate, I need to get a new one, 50 sense. I got a new mug, which is not new, but it's new to me. 25 cents. And it's a love mug. And don't you think I need a love mug? I think we all need a love mug. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. You did not hear that here first. So I'm looking forward to cleaning that up. You know I can't pass by good beads. They're glass. I won't necessarily wear these, but I will definitely use them in my crafting. Or, you never know, I might wear them. Oh, look, I'm still wearing the magical pendant. I haven't taken it off. So that, and then, again, a, this is a candle, 50 cents. Mondo Bello Energy, a unique blend of sandalwood. Hello, I love me some sandalwood. Brand new. Never been burned. So I'm looking forward to that. Okay, bag one down. You guys, I'm telling, oh no, actually that was two. You're not going to believe the, okay, here's these Le Levi's I was telling you about. They had, brand new, look. Hello. Hello with the tags still on them. Um, Levi's signature, you know. Mid-rise boot cut. Can you say two dollars? Two. Two dollars. If you look for Levi's in the store anymore, I thought they were, I'm so ignorant, I swear to God, I thought they'd go for like 20 bucks. Uh, no, maybe in 1980 they did. They're like 60, 80 bucks now. So, two dollars. You guys, I'm telling you, if you're in the Sullivan County area, it's still going on for, the not today, the next two days, on so Monday and Tuesday. 
Brand new Levi's. Tons of kids' clothes. Um, they had some furniture, household items, all kinds of stuff. So I'm psyched about that. And I tried them on. They had a, a very clean fitting room there. Um, was really excited. So can always use a new pair of jeans, especially since everything I own now is covered with paint. I'm actually wearing um, Broke Out the Skirts this week because that's another great thing about spring. I told you I like to wear my skirts. And I am. It's like wearing your pajamas. Okay, these, you guys, even though it's getting warmer, hello, it'll be cold before I know it. Brand new, brand new flannels. Tag still on them. And you guys, there's a ton of these. I did not get the only ones. Okay? High quality, what is this? Union Bay. Does this mean anything to anyone? I'm not a label person, but I know that they're high quality items. And $2.00. I think whatever I told you the grand total was $31 so I got this one I would have got more I swear but I was just like calm down Carol I got this one you know for layering in the winter time with a little shirt underneath and these over the top like a jacket love me some flannel love me some flannel and I know I'm not alone okay that was it for the flannel shirts and then I think these were used, but again, I don't care. Everything's going in the wash. New to me. These are Victoria's Secret. Again, I don't care, but they have that, you know, the pink logo on them. Little pajama pants, you know, with a little tie. Purple, made exclusively for me. And they even have a little button on the side so you can roll up the jean. Or the jean. The pant. Hello. On my left side. Perfect. So I don't run it over in my wheelchair. I'm a happy girl. That. And then this. The coffee pot. I don't plan this stuff, folks. I'm telling you. Alright? Another brand new shirt. And this one was $2 as well. $2 as well. And just your typical embroidered kind of like what I'm wearing right now actually except this one's in black little cap sleeve um, you know all the way down this girl is beyond crop top age you know once you hit I don't even know what the age is I'm 50 but I don't want to see any 50 year old women in a crop top I'm sorry I don't care how good you look cover up it's time leave it to the younger generation we had our era I'm all about body acceptance I'm not saying that but it's just, I think it's a modesty thing. Why am I going on? Uh, as I'm speaking right now, the hummingbird's at the feeder. It just continues to bring me joy every time I see him. So my friend Allie uh, in the United Kingdom told me that she's only ever seen pictures of a hummingbird. And I wish that I could just show you right now, Allie, because they're magical. They're really magical. So, okay, that, all those clothes. I'm so excited. I'm not done. I am not done. You know I'm a sucker for a tray. I want to say that 99.9% .9 that I will alter this tray. But this is a heavy duty, look at the price tag, 75 cents. Heavy duty wooden, like bed tray. You know, I'm going to serve you breakfast in bed. Okay? Or I'm going to sit on my couch and play with my beads. Or whatever I use trays all the time all the time for many different things um, as I've been painting my shelf I have a tray that's full of my acrylic paint that I put on the floor when I'm down I actually get on the floor and paint my things sometimes it's easier so 75 cents for you know home essentials tray so excited got that and then one more bag from the Goodwill. What are we at? 14 minutes. All right, I'm doing okay. One more bag from the Goodwill and then a boatload of... Oh, I can't even lift this. Okay, let's just leave it here. Um, more a uh, five-pack of... This is not Play-Doh, but it's a good knockoff. Okay, that was a dollar. Brand new. Thank you, United Way of Sullivan County. A, a brand new... Jenga. Okay, I play a ton of games with my grandson. I wish I could play with all my grandchildren. I want 
I want to have, my dream is to build, like, we, there's a lot of bungalow colonies around here. And if I ever win the lotto, I just, you know, I would buy this and fix it up and have, like, my whole family living around me. And wouldn't that be great? They could have their own place, though. So I still want my own place. But close enough that, you know, they can come walk over and hang out with Grandma all day. I could have that big garden and... Anyway, a girl can dream, right? So Jenga for a dollar. I can't wait to play. What else? My grandson's going to be excited. I got some checkers. A dollar. Brand new. Still in the shrink wrap. Full size. The price tag on the back says $6.99. So um, I love the tins that these come in kind of. My dominoes come in these kind of classic tins, too. So, checkers, which, believe it or not, I didn't have any checkers. I have two chess boards, but no checkers. Um, this, brain games for kids. How fun does that look? And it's not like... <laughs> Nobody used it. Nobody had any brains. So, psych, I'm really happy. That'll be fun to play with the kids and... Maybe even for Grandma. You never know. Brain games for kids. More Play-Doh. And this is actually real Play-Doh. 50 cents. Red, green, orange, and yellow. Can never have enough. I couldn't believe it. I was like, are you kidding me? And there was nobody there. There was one other person there. Because it's kind of tucked away like on a side street. So, and there was no signs. Like, if it weren't for the link from Leslie, I wouldn't have known about it. So, um, this doesn't have a cover, but it's a kid's road atlas. And again, I, you know, I'm looking at these things with a twofold purpose. One, of course, is to share with my grandchildren. But the other, you know, I'm looking at things because I want to rip them up or use them in art or something. And they do have really cool images and maps. I'm a map, I'm a map, I'm a map. You know, and just the state birds and all kinds of really cool information. So, uh, I'm really excited. Hawaii. Claudia's moving to Hawaii soon, right, Claudia? Good luck. Good luck with that, girlfriend. I, I'm so enjoying your videos and your vlogs about that whole process. And uh, I love all my YouTube family now. I'm so blessed. It's great. And I was hanging out hanging out with yeah I hang out with you guys right I was hanging out with secret this morning while she was doing her mystery unboxing and uh, it's Minnesota secret it's not Washington Lori B is in Minnesota okay that's all I can tell you that's all I know <laughs> oh man but yeah and everybody Kelly you know I just I hang out with you guys and I love it so I'm in a hush because I got too much to share so another how cool is this? And I really can't wait to read this myself. And I think there's even a TV show. The Way Things Work. You know, a comprehensive, instructive, and entertaining reference book for readers of all ages. From hologram to hovercraft, parachute to parking meter, a prize-winning author's brilliantly conceived guide to the principles and workings of hundreds of machines. How freaking cool is that? And again, this thing, look at, oh, the first thing I opened to. You guys, yeah, the, diff uh, the car seat belt, submarine, these are just, it's amazing. Oh, a, bo a bully mammoths, you know, so I'm, I'm so psyched. And, you know, when my kids were little, I used to bring them to our local library all the time for story hour, and, you know, I, I would think if there's one thing that I wanted to instill in my children was a love of reading, because I have such a love of reading. And, I, and it's just, I can't imagine a life without books. I've said that to you guys before. So they're all around me. You've seen in my house. And I'm constantly trying to expose, you know, my, my kids and my grandkids to this stuff. But again, you know, I get a vicarious thrill out of it. You know, oh, they're for the kids. That's a great part of kids and grandkids is you get to relive your childhood over again, you know. And uh, yeah, so that's great. And what else? Is that it? Oh, one more thing in the book. And oh, how sweet is this? And you know it was meant for me. Child of Fairy, Child of Earth. Oh my gosh, with this book. I 
haven't even opened it yet. I just did now. This book belongs to Callie. It's just glorious. I can't wait. Maybe I'll have a book reading one time and, and read this to you guys. Because it's just... It's... Oh! It's full of fairies and just beautifulness. The illustrations are incredible. Yeah, I, I just... Aw. So, that was like a quarter. A quarter to be magical. Look, for May Day. <gasps> She's a May Queen. Yeah. So, you guys, that was the rummage sale. $31. Can you believe it? <sighs> oh, my gosh. I got my check on, like... What's today? The third? I get my check on the second. My disability check. So I always go, wee -hee! I told you, I'll set aside like a little bit of money in the beginning of the month. And then I don't spend any for the rest of the month. So that's okay. So $31. Hello. Hello. And you know Tom is there helping me all the way, all the time. Anyway. Okay. So. As a matter of fact, that was his $31. Thank you, Tommy. Okay, so that's that. I went to the rummage sale. And then we went to the auction last night. <gasps> I had such a good time. Oh, you know what? Before I went to the auction, I'll show you what I got. I stopped at Rite Aid. Hello. And I wouldn't normally... You guys, I have not touched my coupon binders in like over a month. I have a... We keep getting the coupons each week. And I told you, I'm hardcore, hardcore with the coupons and have been for the last few years. And I'm not going to stop doing that. But honestly, the art has taken precedence and the coupons are a chore, you know, even though I'm all about it. I want to save my money. Um, I have to be honest and tell you that there's a stack of coupons right now waiting my attention. And so I think Monday or Tuesday this week, I really just need to get in there. So anyway, long story short is that I went to Rite Aid yesterday because I needed to and I didn't use any coupons. And that's, I think, the first time that I've done that in forever. But wait till you see what I got. First of all, stuff that doesn't matter. I did get a few things um, at the health food store, our local green market, for my my cleanse, which I'm starting tonight. But I'll talk about that in my cleansing videos, which I'll do my first one tomorrow. So it's just syrup and, and the tea that I drink. And I got to get lemons today. But anyway. Uh, okay. You know your girl got some hair dye. I get whatever's cheapest. I have tried the Dollar Tree hair dye, believe it or not. And I didn't like it. And I didn't... It worked as far as dyeing your hair. Um, but the ammonia was so, so strong. Like, I couldn't get over it. Like, I don't mind a, a strong smell initially. But it lasted like a few days. And my hair felt super, super dry from it. So, mm, no go on the Dollar Tree hair dye for me, personally. Um, hair dye. I have been going gray for the last 10 years. I told you I'm 50 now. The naturalist side of me wants to let it go and go stay with the gray. And, and I so admire it on other people. Um, you know, I just, I think it's beautiful on men and women. I've let my own get grays go in the past. And when I've seen pictures or just really looked at myself in the sunlight, I can't reconcile it with the, the young woman I am inside. I'm just not ready yet. That might be foolish. I might change my mind in the future. I don't know. I don't like the idea of putting unnatural chemicals on my hair. I haven't really researched any natural dyes, honestly. Um, I have used henna and things in the past, but I just, I, you know, I want to say that I don't care and that, you know, I'm not that vain, but I think I'm going to still wait, you know, until maybe I hit 60 and then I'll try again. So anyway, but I take biotin vitamin supplement and... I'm telling you guys, my hair grows crazy, and it, I believe it's the... I have good genes anyway. My mom and my sister both have great hair, too, but my hair grows super, super fast, and so I have to dye my roots, like, every four weeks or so, honestly, or it gets out of hand, so time to do that, and, uh, and I hope you don't mind me sharing, like, too much information, but I'm an open book, so I'm going to lay it out. What else did I get? I got a new Uniball pen. I haven't tried this kind. I love me some Uniball pens. So, I got that. I got to get some new Signal white pens, too. Even though I got a three-pack last time, I go through them so quick. I got some more Scotch tape, just because I thought I had a million rolls. And I didn't. 
so can't go wrong with that. And I got some, I love this foundation, you guys. I don't know if any of you have tried this L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Foundation. And I laugh, you know, blur, <laughs> because it kind of blurs, but it's super moisturizing. My skin is really dry and has been my whole life. And again, now that I'm aging, I sound like an infomercial. Um, I really like this. It doesn't accentuate any fine lines. It blends in beautifully. It's super moisturizing. It's got great coverage. Uh, it's like nine bucks, I think. And again, I probably had a $3 coupon in my binder and could have saved some money. But I do have on my wellness card, I'm like gold status member. So that saves you 20%. But still, I could have done, I could have got a better deal. But I love this L'Oreal foundation. If any of you care about that, and then, as I was leaving, I noticed that they had all of their garden decor on sale for like 50% off. And sometimes it's tacky junk and whatever. And you know I love me some wind chimes and things that dangle and hang. A lot of times I don't like Rite Aid wind chimes, but I was checking them out and came upon this. Are you kidding me? You guys... I'm in love. It's really big, too. I wish you could really see. What could I hold up against the back of it so you can see the beautifulness of it? Look at that. Are you kidding? Was this meant for me? I think so. And it's really big. And it's got bells. And all the pieces are there. And these are, you know, glass, not plastic. Oh, I'm lying plastic not glass there's a little marble action for you right are you you guys this was nine marked at 9.99 on sale for 50 percent off your girl got this for like five bucks less 450 or something with my other discount love it it's going tom actually ha had it he brought in the bags he's so good he brought in the bags yesterday and had it hanging up already in the window, which is, it's going back up there, but I wanted to show you guys. So that was my Rite Aid haul. Um, and, oh, and I forgot to show you guys this last week. This mushroom, which, I, you know, I'm a huge mushroom fan. I got this, it's concrete, and I guess you could paint it, but I'm not going to. I really like, boy, talk about a phallic symbol, huh? Uh, I really, I like the natural tones of it. But there's a restaurant in Hurleyville called Nina's, which is down home Hungarian cooking. I believe it's Hungarian. She makes pierogies, potato pancakes, you name it. And there's a ton of vegetarian options too, like eggplant and I could go on and on and on. It's like 15 bucks for all you can eat. And anyway, the last time I was in there, there were two guys playing and Patty, I meant to tell you, Larry and Al say hi. Larry and Al were playing, one guy on a horn and another guy on guitar, playing music while we were eating. And there are these great mushrooms on the stairs when you walk into the restaurant. And I asked about them. I was like, I love your mushrooms. And Oh, we have, you know, for sale. And next thing you know, the table is full of mushrooms of all sizes and shapes. Big ones, little ones. This is like a medium, medium small. Um, eight bucks. I love it, love it, love it. So, shout out to Nina's in Hurleyville, and shout out to Larry and Al for making our dining experience great music, and they told us great stories about being on the cruise ships, and they know my friend Patty Greco, Sunshine, shout out to Patty, whose show is this Friday at the Rivoli in South Fallsburg. Um, she's playing, and her one-woman show, check it out, you guys, she's amazing. So, I wanted to show you that. I told you I have a lot to show you. What time are we at? It doesn't matter. I'm going to stop looking at the clock. Excuse me while I take a sip of my coffee. Hope everybody's having a great week. I'm excited to start my cleanse tonight. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be great. And I told you, I'm going to do a separate... I'll, si I'll do a series of videos on this channel, but I'll mark them the master cleanse. So if nobody's interested, you don't have to bother with them. And I won't be talking about anything else except the cleanse on those. So... Without further ado, I'm going to jump into the auction. Again, wonderful to see everyone. Kat, I love you. Patty, I love you. Jonathan, I love you. 
everybody. It's so great. Hope, you know, people whose names I don't know, who I see every week, who I love. I love you guys, too. Larry and David, you know, it's just, it's a family. It's so great. We have such a great time. And I told you, the snack bar is up and running, and Jonathan and Patty do this amazing job. They're pumping out gourmet dinner food. You know, everybody's raving and raving. And I have to tell you that I've been vegetarian since May. And they make, now they're advertising this Chinese pork sandwich that used to be like my favorite thing in the whole entire universe. And I have to tell you that last night I was kind of like, oh, I wish I could just for a second. Okay? I'm not going off. I'm not not going to ever eat meat again. But I did have a morning for pork for a moment. So anyway. In this bag, which I got from Deb Buchanan. Hi, Deb. I have put last night the beads because I stayed at Tom's last night, so I had all this stuff over there. I got two bags of beads at the auction last night, a dollar a bag, and you know me. I will pull these apart, separate them out, use them in my artwork if I don't find something that, excuse me, might actually wear. Um, and so random in no particular order. This, these are like iridescent, I don't know, I wish you could see, where's the sun shining? Um, but it's like that pinky, blue, iridescent kind of thing. These I will definitely, um, you know, <laughs> be pulling apart and using for something else. But they're cool. These I love. Hello, and they're in great shape. These are cowrie shells. And for my sisters in the craft, you know about cowrie shells. They represent the divine feminine um, because they represent a woman. And I'm not going to get more graphic than that on this channel. But they are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sacred symbols of the divine. And I was very, very happy to see this double strand of cowrie shells um, here. And it's just beautiful. And... I, I want to do a ritual tonight. It's a full moon and my cleanse and all that stuff. So I might bless these and cleanse these and bless these. I'm going to cleanse everything. You know I do that. But anyway, uh, this I will definitely be deconstructing, although it's kind of cool. Or I might alter it, actually, because I, I kind of dig the medallions on this in a way. But I don't really like... Uh, what is this? It's like a, a guy on a horse. I don't know. I guess it's kind of Roman-ish. And then these little discs hanging. So it kind of hangs like... Not like that, Callie. Doesn't hang like that, girlfriend. Oh, my. Anyway, you get the gist, right? It hangs in the middle. There we go. Now we're talking. So I may alter this. Or it kind of reminds me of like a... A belly dancer belt or again I want to always wear like things on my head I think I was you know I don't know <laughs> I like to wear stuff like that it's fun right pretend you're a princess uh, these I will not be using I'll pass I'll put these in the grandchildren treasure box or you never know sometimes in collage work or things you can bead the yeah, bead these you can glue these down or use them as texture in something, you know, because you can always paint over them. So you never know, but definitely won't be uh, using them as is. I'm not a huge, I love, you know, orange is a beautiful bright color. And my sister um, of the moon, Donathan, loves orange. Hi, sister. Um, I like it as an accent, but I, it doesn't call to me. So I don't wear orange or I don't have a lot of it around, which maybe I need more orange in my life. And I'll talk about that more when I show you the shelf I'm working on. And those of you who follow me on Facebook already know about the shelf this week. But uh, this, remember, snake chains. This is an old snake chain that does has no uh, has no mouth or tail. There's no clasp on this, so I wouldn't be wearing this or anything anyway. But again, I might use it in collage or something in crafting. Um, this is an anklet, an ankle bracelet. Excuse my nails, you guys. They're shot right now. Um, and I think these might be hematite. I'm pretty sure that the black beads may be hematite here. Uh, I'm not sure about the other stones, honestly. But So this may remain as an anklet. 
And as long as I have one good ankle, I will continue to wear anklets. Um, these are super cool, and I didn't really realize till I re looked at them last night. Um, I will be... This is definitely... You guys who have seen my cottage tour have seen my windows. The, these will definitely be hung in my window. You guys, these are all glass beads. Beautiful turquoise and green. And just... I'm super psyched about these. So look how long this is. Look how white my arms are. Oh my God, it's time for a tan. I need to get out in the sun. I am ghostly pale. Not too much sun, but a little bit of sun, right? So I'll be deconstructing this for sure. And it will be in my window as well as they're so long that I may just use some in something else too. Um, psych, I was really excited about this one. And let's see, this is also, this kind of reminded me of a belt as well. Um, but it's just, you know, like silver. it's not sterling silver, obviously, but these kind of hammered little ovals um, that go down and down and down. Um, I'm sure it was worn, doubled up or something. So, again, I'm not one for, you know, like cha wearing chains and things, but this has possibilities for other things. And then last but not least, and this I will not be altering, and I just think it's super cool. It's a, I believe you call this a lariat. You know, when you put the string through the hole, right? And on the end of it, check this out, you guys. Look at this, uh, these beads. Aren't they beautiful? So I just thought that would look really cool, you know, kind of as a, you know, like as a choker. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to put it on, do I? Maybe I do. Like this. You know? Does that look cool? Or is that weird? I don't know. Anyway, liked it. I think it's different. I'm not going to alter it. Um, definitely not. And again, even if that just becomes something that hangs in my window... It already is bringing me happiness. What did I do here? Okay, so that's beads at the auction, right? So we're not done. We are not done. I am going to continue here. If the video shuts off, I'll be coming at you with a part two. In no particular order. Look at this. OMG. He's wooden. He's carved. He's Buddha. It was his birthday yesterday. Anybody who's a Buddhist knows that. I am not a Buddhist, but I love many things about... I don't identify as a Buddhist, but I I'm, have many... I think I'm, I'm many things, but I identify most strongly as a witch. But I ascribe to many Buddhist principles, and uh, I see the Buddha in you. So I love him. And at the auction last night, I think the grand total was... $70, which is a lot. Um, but again, I, I don't do this all the time. It's a once a month kind of thing where I'll go, Wee! Tom spoils me all month long. And it's nice that I can jump in once in a while. And not that I needed anything, because I don't. But um, what did we get for him? He didn't get much. He got a shelf yesterday that kind of opens up like a, I think they call them a secretary, which was kind of cool, old wooden vintage for sure. And we got Nick a set of, which will make him crazy at the auction, a set of speakers, which I know nothing about, but some kind of speaker thing for Nick. And I think that's all they got. But anyway, Buddha. And then I got this because it's just, it was too cool to leave there. And you guys, <laughs> no, it's not a bong, which was my first thought, okay? Not that I know anything about bongs. Hello. It's an oil lamp. Isn't that great? Come on, how cool is that? I could not leave it there. And it was something ridiculous, like, I don't know, $5, $3. It's all glass. The globes come apart. You know, I got to clean all this stuff, obviously, you guys, but hello. 
freaking love it. So that, and then, oh my God, I couldn't believe it. And I didn't realize I was sitting closer to the front. So obviously who's behind me, I'm not turning around seeing who's bidding against stuff. But as I was getting this, I didn't realize that I was bidding against Hope, my friend Hope. So Hope, I'm sorry. And I told you last night, if you want something, because I don't need anything except this. I need this. So thank you for letting me have it. Um, but I didn't realize I was bidding against you, Hope. But you guys, this is brand new in the box. Rome's Authentic what is it handcrafted zodiac sundial are you kidding me i think i shared with you when i lived in kerhonkson i had a huge garden and i had a sundial in the garden but it had been broken years ago by one of my kids friends stepped on it and broke it and it, i was you know I, I don't get too attached to my things i don't think but it made me sad because I really loved it. So I was so psyched to see this. I'm going to show you guys how freaking beautiful it is. And this will be... I can't wait to get the deck all ready. I've been working on it slowly but surely. But look at this, you guys. Let me take it out of the bag. And you have to put the... It comes with the dial that stands up, obviously. If those of you who know about sundials. But look at this. OMG! All right, how psyched am I? It's heavy, it's heavy metal, man. Gorgeous, right? And again, here's, you know, screws and here's the dial that, you know, stands up. So you could, you could tell time. I could tell time. I don't need to look at the clock. I can go look at my sundial that I'm in love with. And so thank you again, Hope, for, for letting me have that girlfriend. They say there's no friends at the auction, but that's not true. Because, again, if I know somebody really wants something and I don't need it, I'm going to let you have it. And I guess um, I was bidding on a black cape. It was really cute. It was like a little capelet. And uh, it was going up and up. And I turned around and I saw that Hope was bidding on it. So I stopped. I let her have it. Isn't that just nice of me? Because, you know, I have a black cape. I actually have two. So, um, but I told her, I was like, look, let, I wouldn't, I felt bad that I jacked it up by bidding. I would have let, she could have got it for two bucks. <laughs> anyway. All right. Um, all right. I'm still reaching. These I got for Tom. He was like putting, getting a cup of coffee or something. And one of them broke in the transport home. But I'm going to try to, I don't know. Maybe I can cover it and, yeah, I could. I might, I'm going to rescue these and cover them in polymer clay, but I'm going to try not to blind you, but they're mirror and they're notes, they're musical notes. And this one got broke here and see this at the top. So I just thought of that right now, the clay, which I actually still have black clay, which would look cool. Because I told you guys, he has a recording studio, and these would look super cool. He's also got a, um, you know, like a full musical staff out of metal with a G-clef and stuff. So I thought those would look cool on the wall. But I'll fix them. So one, I got those. And then... Oh. I can't believe my video is still going, you guys. Okay, I told you, they still have all that cast, cast iron metal stuff. So, look, a frog. Here's a box. A frog box. I should give that to my daughter, Rachel. Rachel, you got to come visit me, though. Bring me those grandchildren. I told you, uh, maybe you don't know. I don't think I showed in my video. There were a few things in my house tour that I missed showing you um, that I'll have to do an update, but... I love keys, and I know a lot of you guys love keys, but I have a big giant ring of old antique keys. So look at these. Look at this like an old lock. And I'm going to add those to the ring. Old skeleton keys. And hello, look at this. A mermaid hook. 
she's going in the bathroom. Love her. Another one of my... How many of these can I have, you guys, right? This one's a sunflower with two birdies. Again, still had tags on them. Like, are you kidding? Another frog. This one's a bottle opener. Cast iron metal. Cast iron metal. I have no idea where they got all this metal stuff. Um, this this came with the with the frog box or something. I think he's a lobster. Rock lobster. Ooh. B fifty twos. Yeah. And then this. More cowbell, please. That, my darling, is what I got at the auction. Are you kidding me? All right, I'm going to talk really quick now because I can't believe that it hasn't cut me off yet and just show you the shelf that I've been working on. You guys saw the table that I did last week? And you know what? Secret, I agree with you. I think around the edge, girlfriend, I am going to do black and white, black and white. But I had to just walk away from the table for a while before I go back to it because I was, I was done with it. And these painted furniture projects are definitely teaching me the lesson of patience. So um, I think I shared with you, and again, on Facebook, you've seen um, this was a shelf that my stepson Nick had given me. It was white when it began. It is no longer white, as you can see. I've begun, I'm not done with it. So it's chartreuse and purple. And this top here, you guys saw it, it was orange. I had painted this bright orange and I did not like it. It looked like a cartoon. And again, you have to remember, I'm going to do designs on top of these things and I'm not done with it yet. These are just backgrounds. So I realize that it's very bright. It's very vivid. Uh, the designs will knock that down, but so anyway, I was not happy with the orange at all. I lived with it for a day. I asked for some advice on Facebook. Um, I got some great advice. Thank you guys. And I ultimately, oh gee, surprise, surprise, your girl went back to purple. And I love it. I love the purple with the chartreuse together. Um, what I'm not really sure so much about are these three primary colors here. But again, they're going to be backgrounds for whatever I choose to do. Um, this really is teaching me patience because I have to let things dry and do more than one coat. And I, you know, I did everything. I painted the insides. I painted the outsides. You know, I, I really took my time with this. So I'm not done with it yet. I think that I might hang it in the kitchen and hang S hooks from it and use it to hang mugs on, you know, like a, I don't know, something, but stay tuned for this. And I have another white box that has uh that opens like a medicine cabinet that i'll also be doing but uh, it's a challenge so anyway i appreciate the feedback and then you know i have been keeping up with my little you know i'm mean, keeping up with what's today the third but my thoughts and doodles journal um i've been writing in it and i'm enjoying it it's it's uh it's cathartic and it's cool so uh that's all i have for you guys today that's all I have. It's like a 50 minute video. Thank you. If you've stuck around to the end, I'm feeling the love and I love you guys so much. Take care. I'll be back uh, probably tomorrow. Just I'm going to do quick updates with my master cleanse and I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful week and I'll be talking with you very, very soon. I love you guys. Blessed be. Like this if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.